Alrighty then, let's get every ounce of juice out of that new PC you got. You got that gaming rig going. Now let's get every, every ounce that we can out of that PC. Everything that we're going to show you here tonight is not optional. You need to set these settings. If you're a PC person, please don't argue with me about it. Just set these settings and you will be good to go. I'm going to show you all of those here tonight. All things you need to do in Windows and for your overclocking as well as the apps that we use here tonight and some shortcuts along the way as well. I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible so we can get your machine up and going and fast as we possibly can. Let's go, let's go do this right now. Let's do it. Alrighty then, first things first, make sure you're following us over here on Facebook, skip on the Twitter and hit us up on Instagram. You're really missing out if you're not hanging out there. We got some really fun stuff going on on the Instagram and showing all the results from our members and some of those screenshots and of course some of my behind the scenes stuff at my place. And of course, follow us here on YouTube. Smash that like button right about now. And don't forget to drop us a comment afterwards and let me know that you got your PC all set up using these settings. Let's get down into it here tonight. So. Let me start out with giving you a list of the things that we are going to cover here tonight. It is it is quite extensive. Let's do this in yellow. We get it nice and bright here, and it is a pretty long list. Let's try to get this all the way up here, and let's give it the boost. All right, uh, I think there's one at the end there. <laughs> yeah, didn't quite fit on the list. We are covering a lot, folks. All right, here we go. USC firewall, Windows 10 power settings, antivirus, disable that real-time scanning. Must install, uninstall the OneDrive, XMP Game Boost, Refresh Rates, Max 2, one of the apps, and Snagit, and Alexa Alarms, GS300, and I'm going to cover down below that keyboard setting. I'll do that list here at the very end so you can get a screenshot of that just to make sure you got everything set up, and I'll do it a little bit smaller next time so it fits on the screen, but let's get into those. So first one on the list there is our UAC. Just hit the Windows key on your keyboard and type UAC. Hit enter. This is going to pull up the user account control settings and all I want you to do. Again, I'm going to go through these fast here tonight, folks. Rewind it later. Put the slider all the way down to the bottom and click OK. Restart if you need to. Windows 10, I don't believe you need to anymore. Let's go on the next one. Firewall. Hit the Windows key. Type firewall. Hit enter. This is going to come up and just set yours to look like mine. I recommend turning it all off. If you are a complete geek, this is a spot where I'll let you kind of go and adapt, but you need to allow everything through for Ninja Trader. And yes, we are doing some things that are non-traditional on Ninja Trader. So I still recommend that you turn these all off if you're having any issues and this is on. We are not going to troubleshoot it for you. So make sure that that firewall is turned off. Remember, this is your business PC, not your PC. So, you know, less, a little bit less protection, use your um, external firewall to protect your machine a little bit more is my opinion on that. Windows 10 power settings. Again, Windows power settings, hit enter. It's gonna bring you to this window right here and uh, you're gonna wanna go right over here to additional power settings. This is a little bit tricky. Go into the additional power settings. Yours should look like mine. If yours does not say high performance, guess what? You're probably not high performance. Now, go into change plan settings and make that adjustment. You may have it in the list, okay? You've got some things. If you got AMD, you may have to hit uh, additional plans to show this one, but make sure you are here. Let me show you why that is. If you are getting in here, click on change advanced power settings. What happens is on the anything but the high performance, your minimum processor rate will be somewhere around 50%, 30%. It can fluctuate all in between. You're trying to save uh, electricity on your machine, but the problem is this is gonna fluctuate all the time. And when our data is flowing in and right when you're gonna need that to do fast processing, it's gonna take a second for it to ramp up and you are going to be slow. These are not optional. Next one on the list, XMP and boosting your settings. Let me show you what this looks like, XMP. Let's do XMP for MSI motherboard. BIOS, you're gonna to need to go into your BIOS and enable the XMP feature and Game Boost. Both should be available to you on most systems, okay? Especially in the 9900 and the 10900K series, okay? You will have two of these. Um, you guys see that very well. Let me put this right in the center of my screen and try to zoom it in. How about now? There we go. All right, so you need XMP right here. Just turn it on. Game Boost, turn it on. This is going to be a huge setting change. Just set both of them. If you don't know how to do it, go check out with your manufacturer 
or look up your motherboard and see how to do this. This is the one that I've got, MSI. Most of the others kind of look like this as well. So click on those, enable XMP and Game Boost mode. Let me show you what that does. If you go to your task manager and go to your performance section, I'm showing all logical processors. I recommend doing that. I think you will probably want to see that for a lot of reasons. You, if you don't see yours look like this, it's probably because you have the overall utilization sec selected. That is the default for Windows. So select logical processors and you'll be see, able to see all of your processing threads that you got going on there, all your cores um, at a glance. Very, very handy. Now, the key that we want to look at here is the difference between the base clock speed and your actual speed right here. You see that 4.89? That is achievable after you've got XMP enabled and game boost, okay? This one really more important than the game boost, all right? But this is going to get you that high achievement. Look at the base speed. My base core speed, 3.6. The key here is if you are not, if this number is not above 4.5, um, you are going to have problems, okay? Now, everybody's going to say, well, I haven't had any problems yet, Vinny, and I've been, I guess you probably haven't, but you will, okay? When the market gets quick, if you have one, one of the best days in the market, you are not going to be able to participate in, okay? You're going to have lots of high volatility, lots of action, and you are going to be behind if you do not have 4.5 gigahertz, any questions around that? If you need help getting to that, please ask around. But, you know, be be cognizant of other people's time. But, again, yeah, you usually go with your, uh, talk to your manufacturer, whoever you bought that from. They can help you out. Get that thing boosted. Make sure you're above 4.5 or get yourself a new machine. Okay, I'm just telling you, you're going to miss it. If you're on a single instrument, it's not going to be a big deal, but you need to get to multiple instruments. If you know how we use our system, um, we're trying to trade multiple instruments. We're looking for the setups. If you if you don't, you know, look, we've only got an hour to, to 90 minutes that we want to be able to achieve our five trade or five or six trades. And if you don't have those out there, you're going to be missing out and you're not going to be able to process them if you don't have that up there. Okay. Next one. Let's talk about refresh rate. So the refresh rate on your PC is right here. Right click, click on display settings. Now, everybody's got different displays and things. Again, I've got kind of a complicated setup. I've got eight monitors here. Whatever you've got set up doesn't really matter as long as in your settings that you have the highest refresh rate possible, okay? This is gonna help a lot of things. First of all, wow, I can't type tonight. Okay, you want the highest refresh rate you can get. Helps your eyeballs and when you are moving around those targets, okay? Really helpful for moving around targets and stops. You, there is a night and day's difference between moving on a low refresh and a high refresh monitor. Just trust me, if you haven't experienced it, I can't even show it to you on video because you can't really see refresh rate on video, but high frame rate along with high refresh is the killer uh, for all games and this for the way that we attack things as well. So how to go and change that setting? Go down here all the way to the bottom. It is a little bit tricky. Got to go to advanced display settings. Under advanced display settings right here, you're going to see display adapter properties for display. Okay, each display has a different refresh rate. You're going to have to click on this. You will see this right here. Then click on list all modes. Under list all modes, I really don't care what your refresh, what your you know resolution is. If you're at 4K, in the mind for here, I'm on 2K right now on this machine. And you see, all you need to make sure you have is the highest refresh rate. Talked to my buddy Paul the other day. He had amazingly awesome gaming monitors, and those things go up to 240 hertz, way beyond even the one that I've got right here. And yet, he was set to 60 hertz. He had no idea, and now he's playing buttery smooth and crushing it. So that is a game changer. Make sure you do that for each one of your monitors. If you have multiples, click on each one and change that setting. Very, very important. Now, let's get into some of the apps that you need. Number one on our list is Max 2. I have an entire video on this. This is called Max 2. This is going to help you adjust your charts. And uh, let me show you guys the where the video is on that. If you are in uh, on our YouTube channel, uh, right here, you're looking for automatic. Whoops, here it is automatic chart sizing right there. And of course, if you get lost on that, it will be available in our Discord channel and somebody can direct you to that. But first thing, just ask for the Max 2 video. Someone will send you a link to this one right here. This is how you are going to adjust your screens. All right, let me show you what it looks like on mine real quick. I'm gonna open up Max 2 and you'll see how handy this is, especially if you've got multiple monitors. This is absolute must. And if you want us to help you work on your machine, 
please have this running, okay? So I'm gonna open up mine and wait for it. Should have had this open already, sorry folks. All right, click on change regions. So um, you're seeing all my screens kind of pop up here. Boom, there's all of my chart layouts and hopefully I can draw on this. I think you guys can see this. So um, each of these is divider lines and all of your charts will snap to each one of these without having to you know, move every single one of them. Um, just trust me, go watch that video and it'll show you how to do this. This is required. Use regions, there we go. All right, max two. Next one is the Alexa alarm. Okay, I don't care if you're using Alexa or Google Home or your phone, as long as you can audio in without pressing a button. You need to have a hands-free hands-free alarm setup okay that's all I care about is that it is hands free I want you to be able to audio this because you need to get into a habit again all I'm trying to do is I'm spreading out the things that can be spread out your audio visual cues and the things that need to be working on around you you need to be able to call out just like this Alexa set a timer for 60 minutes Bing. or Alexa set a timer for 90 minutes Bing. She's gonna do it for you. She's gonna audio to you when your 60 to 90 minute session is up. And if you don't know about that, it's okay. You'll learn it as you get through our program, how to get your five trades in so you can push for the minimum $500 per day. That is our target to get you to at least six figures a year in our system. Next one on our list, Snagit. Now this is debatable on this. You need a, I don't care what you use. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys why I recommend Snagit over the others but you need a screenshot utility this is all about your trade journaling okay i am a huge believer and i have taught this over and over again why it is so powerful pictures worth a thousand words you can literally program an entire set of thought processes by looking at screenshots a human brain is very very good at recognizing patterns and signals and all that kind of stuff if you're not doing this you're done okay don't participate in our room if you're not going to be having um basically if you don't take this seriously okay Screenshotting is not optional here, okay? Get your screenshot stuff set up. So Snagit, I'm gonna show you guys real quick why I really like Snagit and how to get those settings. Um, if you are familiar with our Discord at this point, you probably should be. I'm gonna go here to the mouse keyboard settings and how to set up. Ask somebody in the room if you need to get to this, but it's on the left-hand side. And scroll up to the very, very top to start down the entire list of everything inside here. Here is, uh, whoops, that's the mouse setup. Let's go to the Snagit settings because I'm talking about that one first. This is how you set up Snagit. Such a small little tiny window, so easy to do everything right here. Instantly has copy to clipboard. So as soon as you take the screenshot, it's already in your clipboard so you can paste it anywhere. No need to select another button. Everything about Snagit is about literally having the least amount of things you have to do because Snagit kind of does all the work. Pressing one button on your mouse and all this stuff will kick out for you, okay? Auto copy to clipboard. You can have it even add watermarks and stuff like this. Going to regions, if you wanna see all of my settings, all of those are right here in this section. One of the big ones is the hotkey for the repeat last screenshot. Piece, uh, sorry, this one says repeat last capture, which means do the exact last thing that I just did. Why is that important? Because if you are taking a screenshot of a chart, okay, so you got your nice little setup here going and you're trying to show um, you know, uh, a red headshot, uh, maybe PRZ, and this thing's going down on you. Awesome. Now, as the price is moving, first screenshot right there. Now, I don't want to have to, like, I want to be able to take multiple screenshots on every chart. Listen to what I just said. I want you to take multiple screenshots on every walkthrough setup, especially when you are practicing, okay? This is going to take screenshots in your mind and the progression of trades is going to get locked into your brain. I'm going to show you how to make GIFs, uh, maybe in another video for that, but to be able to see those play back in your mind over and over again, super, super helpful, okay? So this will be like screenshot number one. Maybe you do five or six screenshots per trade, okay? Going all the way to targets, or even if it comes up to your stop, I want you to take multiple screenshots. So how do I do that very easily? The first time, I do need to select the region, okay? Boom, now I got my chart selected, awesome. Now, as the trade's progressing, I don't need to go and reach and press a button. I don't have to press print screen anymore. I don't have to press anything. All I do is, hit my hotkey for repeat last screenshot. Now, you notice I have mine set to control shift F12. That's a complex, you know, I'm not gonna sit there and press that every time. I bind that to a mouse key so that I can do some other things. Just trust me, 
set yours up the way that I do. All my settings are in this section and everybody in our crew is doing this. That's why they're able to post those screenshots so quickly. All right. Now, one of the things about, um, I'm going to come back to these, the Snagit editor. Let's go into the G300 mouse. One of the things that you need to have. If you do not have the three G300 S yet at this point, look, pause this video and go buy it on Amazon. It's literally, I think it's 20 or $30. Get this mouse. It is not optional. Okay. G300 S. I don't want to hear anything about, well, um, I like my mouse, dude, don't even, okay. I promise you, you need this mouse and everybody's using the same one so that all of our settings are the same and you can do this. And I have tested hundreds of mice. You can, I've got a whole closet to prove it to you. I know that this is the absolute best. You, I go through a whole uh, video on this in kind of the first set of core videos. So I won't get into that right now, but as far as your bindings, remember that control alt F12, I'm going to bind that to one of my keys on my mouse. You see that right there? Control alt F12. So inside of the G300 S you'll go into your gaming software. And again, it comes with it. You just download the driver and the software automatically comes in there. You notice I've got mine color linked so that I can do multiple profiles right there. Those are algo box colors. Again, just follow through and set up all these settings on your mouse before you kind of get started and bind each one of these. So control alt F12 right there. So that's what I hit on my keys uh, or on my mouse to take additional screenshots. Okay. Notice I have my print screen bound to my mouse wheel. So I just literally go boop, press my mouse wheel. It's taken my first screenshot. I do my region and then there's my repeat. Click, 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 click as the trade progresses. Right. Um, yeah, there you go. And as far as your settings, that should be all right there for you. So that covers our G300 S mouse. If you have any questions on that, pop them in the chat box in the room, but you just need this list of things is what you gotta have. Now, now I get editor. I'm gonna show you some things. I really want you to annotate your charts if you can. This is all about the trade journaling thing. So let's pull up the Snagit editor. Why I really like the editor itself. Very, very cool. Okay, here is what the editor looks like. Again, there are lots of editors out there for some of those free ones. Yes, Snagit is I think around $40. Or so let me show you all the reasons why i like it um up here first is the toolbar at the top this is completely customizable all the things that you use quite often you just right click and hit customize toolbar if i wanted the blur tool up here i literally grab the blur tool drop it right there this is completely customizable which is very very cool i think i've already got mine kind of the way i want it so i'm gonna leave it like this now let me show you some things about quick annotation so i click right here on text and by the way all of my snagit settings are in that same section every single one of them all my colors all that um, and again it's very very handy for drawing up your charts when you see your charts and you put your own text and notes on them it's extremely powerful for the human brain you're going to record things a lot better so you know, yeah, we really emphasize the importance of being able to take good screenshots and good notes. Okay. So quick little note, boom, you can move it around. If it's cool, you can turn it upside down any way that you want it. All that kind of cool stuff with the text stuff without having to do anything else in your editor. If you want to do steps, click on steps, like little one, step two, step three, and step four. Very, very cool feature right there and these will auto increment for you and you can restart that setup clicking the reset button i go and then this part one and part two maybe for you know targets or whatever um, you want to do and annotate those quickly very very cool for the steps feature other things this tray down here this is the only app that i've ever seen that has the in, like auto tray feature down here it keeps these in memory for you so that i can flip through each one very very quickly so Again, if you've been taking multiple screenshots and you, you know, screen what, screenshot, 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 you took like six screenshots for your trade, they'll all be sitting right here. So again, you don't have to do them all right then and right away. You can still keep trading, but you can come back and just go into your little editor and go, okay, here was the first screenshot, step one. Uh, then step two, label it up. Um, very cool, drawing the arrows in real quick. They've got little shadows and neat stuff like that. Circle tool, boom, grab it and very, very easy to annotate, annotate stuff. There's even a little blur tool if you wanna make sure that your account number is not showing as we are big proponents of that. Boom, blur tool right there. Cool little magnifier feature if you want something zoomed in on. Look at that, neat little feature. Bang, 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 bang. Very, very cool stuff all in one little app. And of course, yes, this can record video. Um, it can record, I think it does audio as well. And some of the other apps will not do that. So. 
very cool features. Other things, one more, is learn how to make GIFs. What is that? Um, the GIF. Some people don't know what this is. This is uh, 2021, and some people still don't know what a GIF is. Okay, graphics information format. This allows, these are those moving pictures. They're not a movie. They're not an MP4, so nobody has to press play. The GIFs are looping um, mechanisms that are very, very cool. The picture's worth a thousand words. A moving picture is worth millions. So what does that mean? If you've got your six screenshots, you can grab all of them and drop them into easygift.com. Okay. And you can easily make those. I'll do a whole other video on how to make those, but just as long as you're taking your screenshots appropriately and you've got those stored in your folders and posting those into our chat box, you are going to be on your way to um, having some a whole lot of fun there. So if you guys got questions around the Snagit thing, just trust me, you will not be disappointed with your Snagit if you do end up going with Snagit. But there again, there are others. There are some people in our room that are using some of the other popular ones are ScreenPresso and ShareX. I really would stay away from GreenShot. If you're using GreenShot from the night, eh, use the ShareX one. It's got more features and some pretty neat stuff on that one. All right. Um, Oh, also the auto clipboard thing. I know I touched on that at first, but I'll say that, look, ShareX, people said, oh no, clipboarding works on the ShareX. Not really. You still have to press an additional button. And again, this one doesn't automatically there for you before you do the editing. Um, very, very handy for when you don't want to edit and you just want to paste very quickly. So yeah, mind the needful. All right, final thing is right down here to our awesome keyboard. This is the uh, Corsair. K55 keyboard. There's a link to that in the description. Oh, look at those awesome Algobox colors, blue, green, and red. And you don't have to set all that up. If you just come down into the settings section, you can download my entire keyboard suite and all of my settings, which also include those G keys. G keys are a very, very cool feature. If you've not seen this keyboard, it's also a membrane beast keyboard. Look, I know people like their mechanical keyboards, but trust me, don't. All that clack, 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 clack stuff, all it does is slow you down. It annoys you. You're going to miss out on sounds. There are just things that you cannot do with a mechanical keyboard that you can do with a membrane based keyboard. This is a membrane touch keyboard, and this is the best that there is, and it's not expensive. Okay. Right there on the left hand side, those G keys, super awesome. Right here, a lot of keyboard, you know, all keyboards have the F keys F1 through 12. This also has G keys one through six on the left. And of course there's multiples because you can do six times three up to 18 keys that you can program. And this also can control your mouse. So very, very handy for getting things shortcutted that you do repetitively. Okay. If you would like our file right here, there's your import setting inside the Corsair software. You simply click on import. What do you want to import? Well, come over here and get Vinny's keyboard file right there down this file to import and you'll have my colors and all of my settings there we go folks that is it thanks for hanging out i hope your pc is running much faster now after this video and if you guys have any questions on it hit us up in the chat and i will catch you guys on the next one for me pippy robbie lunchbot mod squad curtis g and the rest of the gang let's send out that big h town see ya